What's going on, y'all? Country Gaming Network here, bringing you another Magic Monday Deck Tech Review. Today we are going to be reviewing and showing off the my version of a red-green land destruction deck. We'll start off with the creatures. We run a four of of Mold Shamblers. Uh, basically, the only green we have in this deck are the two sets of creatures. We have eight creatures total, or f two creatures, a play set of each. And this is a, uh, let me see if I can get it to focus here. It's a uh, three and a green uh, with a kicker of one and a green. Uh, when Mold Chamberlain enters the battlefield, if it was kicked, destroy target, non-creature permanent. Probably will get rid of this. I don't really like it if you kick it. I mean, you could kick it, but eh, it's all right. Then we run with this is the only reason why I wanted to have green in the deck. Really, I know there is green burn or green land destruction cards. I just haven't picked them up yet. But acidic slime for two green and three colorless. It has death touch, and when it enters the battlefield, destroy target artifact, enchantment, or land. So that's the main reason why this is in the deck. And that's all our green. Now we move into our red creatures. We have a Dwarven Miner, two of. For one in a red, it's a one, two, and for two in a red, tap it, destroy target non-basic land. So that's good if you're if you're playing against uh, people that run non-basic. Two of of Dwarven Drillers. Um, three in a red, tap it, destroy target land, unless his controller has it deal two damage to him or her. So you win, it's a win-win card here. It's good. Then we run a two of, of Dwarven Berserker. It's a one and a red for one one, and if Dwarven Berserker is blocked, it gains plus three, plus O, oh, and gains trample until end of turn. Probably going to take this out of the deck because it's not needed. It's not land destruction. So I could take this out of the deck and actually throw some more lands in here because this is what this deck is lacking. So probably take these two out. I just had it in there because it's a dwarf. So. We have one dwarven blast miner. It is a one and a red and then for... It's a one, one, one and a red and some morph as well. But for two and a red, tap it, destroy target non-basic land. Yeah, it's all right. Two of of mind layers for three and a red. It's a one one, but when you could pay one and a red and tap it, put a mind counter on target land. When that land is tapped, destroy that land. And when this leaves play, remove all mind counters from all lands. So it's all right. It's not bad. And that is our uh, creature base. Now we move into, I should put one more of these in here as well. Uh, for four colorless, it's an artifact. Whenever a land is put into a graveyard from play, Dingus Egg deals two damage to that land's controller. It's really good. Two of of Custody Battle. One in a red, an enchanted creature. Enchanted creature has, at the beginning of your upkeep target, opponent gains control of this creature unless you sacrifice a land. So uh, it's really good if you put it on their creatures. Because um, if they don't sack a land, it becomes yours. And you probably, if you have enough land, you could sack it and keep it. So uh, Run a play set. Stone rain. Two and a red, destroy target land. Play set of those. One wake of destruction. You don't want that many in here. Because if you're playing a same color, red or green mainly red. If you're playing red, you don't want to use this. You want to sideboard this out immediately after the game. Because it's a dead card. For three red and three destroy target land and all lands with the same name as that land. So if you destroy a mountain, all your mountains go bye-bye as well and that's game over. So, Sorry, my dog laid on the towel that I have up here. Next one is one of demolish. Three and a red destroy target artifact or land. One Molten Rain, one and two red, destroy target land. If that land is a non-basic, it deals two damage 
to his lance controller. Probably add, take out the two Dwarven Berserkers and add one more Demolish and one more Molten Rain. Wouldn't hurt. Four Pillage. Uh, two Red and one Destroy Target Artifact Land that can't be regenerated. Two Melt Terrain. Two Red and two Target Land. Destroy Target Land. Melt deals two damage to its Lance Controller. And three Raises. Uh, you have Sack of Land, but you for one Red and Sack of Land, you could tap that land, get the mana, sack it, and play res, or raise, and you destroy their land. Now we run a play set of strip mine. Of course, like I said, this is kitchen top, so the gold borders don't really care. They're a lot cheaper than the original. And basically it adds one colorless mana to your mana pool, and you can sacrifice it and destroy target land. Like I said, we run a play set of those. And obviously we run its brother. Play set of wastelands, gold bordered as well. And add one colorless mana to your mana pool, sacrifice it, destroy non basic land. So this destroys non basic, strip mine, destroy target land. So either way, it's good. We run, f this is our only source of green, rugged highlands. Um, enters a battlefield, tap it, and you gain one life. It comes in a battlefield tap, but there's your red and green as well. You could probably run another another set of uh, dual lands. But other than that, we run one. And we run 14 basic, basic mountains. So, thinking about taking out maybe two mountains, adding two forests. Just to have a good spread. But other than that, guys, uh, that's a land destruction deck. I've played it against my friend. You play this deck, you're not going to get any friends, that's for sure. Because uh, playing magic to where it's one-sided and the other person doesn't get to play because you're, you're doing everything to them really, really isn't fun. It's fun while you're playing it, not fun to play against. Alright guys, this is Country Gaming Network, signing off, see y'all later.